Hi, I'm John Forsyth, owner of Train Control Systems, and thanks for joining me here today in this brief video. We're going to talk about LCC. LCC stands for Layout Command Control. Some people might know a little bit about it, and some people may know nothing, or uh, some people may know a lot, but this video is for those who don't know much about it or maybe nothing at all. This is for you. So let's dive in. What is LCC? LCC is uh, layout command control is sanctioned by the NMRA as a way to control model trains, model train layouts. Okay, LCC kind of picks up where DCC leaves off. We all are familiar with DCC, been around for going on 20 years. Uh, here's this layout in front of me. We can see the track. Think about DCC, what it does. It sends a signal through the track and it's really good at controlling trains and producing uh, controlling sounds and lights and all the things that we do with uh, with the, the engines and locomotives but it's not really an optimal system uh, though it has some capability to do layout control it's not really an optimal system to ultimately have all the features that we like to have for layout control uh, and that's where LCC comes in LCC like I said picks up kind of where DCC leaves off uh, it's important to understand that LCC, as sanctioned by the NMRA, the purpose of it is to come up with a standardized way to control the layout. There's a lot of ways to, it can be done out there, um, but by coming in with a standardized way, what that'll do is it'll allow multiple manufacturers to make uh, things that, that are interoperable with other manufacturers to be operating in the same environment. In, in other words, like we have with DCC, you can have one brand, Brand X decoder, working with Brand Y command station. And the same thing is true for LCC. The LCC products will be made so Brand X over here can also work on the same layout with Brand Y and they'll talk nicely together. But let's talk about that, them talking nicely together. That's what we call protocol or language, where different devices uh, can talk to each other, communicate. Um, and that's what the NMRA is, has established, a standard of the way that communication or that language or that protocol works so that they can all talk to each other and understand each other. So that's briefly what LCC does. This here little layout in front of me is a layout that was actually sanctioned and uh, put forth by the NMRA to promote LCC. This layout's been around for about two, maybe three years. Uh, I, I remember seeing it uh, about two years ago at the first national NMRA show and more recently in Florida at uh, Orlando was at that national show. Train Control Systems part in all this is we've been helping with LCC and the development of it actually for quite a few years so that's our part of it. In it. Uh, the first appearance of this was all Train Control Systems components on this operating this layout and uh, since then uh, railroad circuits uh, components have been put on it and, it and it's mostly working with that. Just briefly now a couple things about LCC. LCC is not meant to replace existing control systems okay you don't have to replace things that are out there you don't have to replace all the throttles and command stations and things like that you have it's not meant to do that it's meant to enhance what you have and then on top of what you have you can pick and choose features that you want to add uh, that your present system may not support. Uh, moving forward, as LCC gathers more and more momentum and, and more and more products become available, you'll have a lot more choices of what you want to add uh, as far as features and manufacturers to add. Not replace existing systems. It's, it's not like I say, not meant to do that. So, oh, you know, it, it can be a standalone system if you wanted to start from scratch, but you don't have to. You can build upon and add to what you already have. Where are we at in the development of LCC? LCC has been in development for quite a few years, but we are gathering a lot of momentum. Um, there are now three companies, two that have actual products for sale for LCC. Railroad Circuits is one of them I mentioned. Train Control Systems, uh, we're close to having products for sale for LCC. Uh, just as a point of reference, this video is in August of 2017. So uh, down the road we will have products and uh, selling. So. It's, it's gathering momentum. Where will we be in one year and five years or ten years? I, I think LCC is uh, going to be here to say it's like rock and roll, you know, it's not going away. <laughs> uh, so I think in five, ten years it'll be very prolific. You'll be, we'll, uh, 
LCC will be a common thing that people will be using to control their layout. Uh, and there'll be a lot of choices of uh, products and so forth. So again, to summarize what it is, it's a, it's a way of controlling the layout um, through a, a standardized pro, uh, protocol or language. And it's not meant to replace existing systems, but to enhance it. Yeah, it's exciting. I think in the long run, what we're looking at here with LCC, I think it can bring to the level of the layout control like DCC did for for digital control of our, of our trains. It made the hobby grow. I think it re gave, DCC gave us a renewed interest in running trains and gave the whole hobby a lift. I think LCC is gonna give that same boost as it gains uh, acceptance in the next few years. And it's gonna make model railroading that much more fun uh, for everybody. Thanks for joining us. And um, you know, if you have any questions, you can visit um, the TCS website and uh, where we'll have more information about LCC moving forward. Thanks for joining us.